WTFNN. Headline news update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, Wednesday morning, 30 minutes into the trading day. We got markets starting off to the positive side. S&P's up one point right now, trading at 3193. Dow Jones up by 25, trading at 28,290. NASDAQ positive by one point, trading at 8824. Gold contract, a little bit of volatility off $2 at 1478. We've got oil off 49 cents at $60 and 46 pennies. Notes and bonds, a little bit of lower price and higher yield. The 10-year off 5 ticks at 12808. The 30-year off 14 ticks at 156.12, and the dollar index up 180 ticks at 97.403. We'll start things off. Let's jump over to the charts. We'll start it off with the Dow, right up there where we were, session highs, right after the opening bell of 28,334. A little bit of a sell-off, but you're only talking about 30 Dow points from that level. NASDAQ 100, trading at 86.09. We were up there at about 86.27, right after the opening bell. S&Ps were above 3,200, looking at the March futures contract, currently just under that level at 31.96. There's your crude oil chart, $60.35. We get the EIA number for crude at 10.30, a half hour from right now. Gold contract, as I mentioned, a little bit of volatility. We were up there at 14.83, down almost $10 to 14.74. You're now looking at 14.78. And the euro US dollar trading at 111.17. In terms of what else you have happening across the market, pretty interesting day as you have the final countdown to the final hours of a historic Trump impeachment vote. It'd be only the third time a president would be impeached in the House. Things would, of course, go over to the Senate after that if that's what takes place. And in terms of earnings, quite a day yesterday for FedEx. Amazon cutting FedEx out of third-party deliveries. M uh, excuse me, FedEx coming out with their earnings last night at 515 and boy, oh boy, did they disappoint. You got FedEx shares down about 8% this morning. General Mills got quite a pop on the open, but pulling back a bit, beats profit estimates on strong pet food demand. But let's jump over to those two charts because we'll start it off with General Mills, GIS, check out the acceleration, now negative for the day, and FedEx, they got no acceleration, down 8.1% following the decline of yesterday. Stay tuned, folks. Coming back at 10 o'clock with Tom. Fast Market by TD Ameritrade 11. Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White, Tom O'Brien, all this afternoon. We'll be right back.